the elixir of youth, a potion that can hold back the hands of time, once seemed impossible. Over the years, many have claimed to have found such a potion. None have. Till now. At the start of the 21st century, we are at last learning the secrets of how to build a longer lasting human. The search for the elixir of youth starts inside the cell. Here, rogue elements cause most of the damage that we call aging. If we can reduce this damage, we might slow the seemingly inevitable decline to old age. Scientists have recently shown that it's possible to double the lifespan of an animal. Here was a perfectly normal animal which just simply lived twice as long as its, as its genetic counterparts. And experts in aging now believe that human lifespan can also be doubled to well over 150 years. I think 150 years is really a, a conservative estimate. I wouldn't be surprised if it's not substantially longer. Over the last century, life expectancy has almost doubled. We can expect to live a good 30 years longer than our great-grandparents. To double our current lifespan, molecular biologists are manipulating our cells. For the first time, they have proof that delaying aging is possible. But not everyone thinks it should be done. If you talk to any molecular geneticist in the world today, they will have to admit to you that this could happen. They may hate it. With all of their heart, they may hate it. But they have to admit that the technology exists for this to happen. Drugs that have doubled the lifespan of animals may soon be tested on humans. But are we ready for the changes a true elixir of youth would bring? Long ago, some animals learnt the trick of living a very long time. The hydra, for example. This microscopic freshwater creature looks unremarkable. But the hydra possesses one impressive ability. Time passes, but its youth and vigour never decline. Strangest of all, when researchers break hydras down to their very cells, something extraordinary occurs. In a matter of hours, out of the mass of cells rise fully grown hydras. Hydras, however, are very simple. We are not. The human body is made up from 100 million, million, million different cells. Some are manufactured continuously. 170 billion red cells form daily to carry oxygen. Ten billion white cells form to fight disease. Others, like the cells of the nose and ear, renew themselves so vigorously, they just keep on growing all life long. But eventually, something goes wrong. Our cells start to fail. Our skin wrinkles. Our hair grays and eyesight fades. 
Is there anything we can do to turn back the clock? Leading choreographer Gillian Lin, doing an impressive job at staying young. She keeps age at bay through sheer hard work. She exercises for three hours every day. There's no one like, can that be a this is... It's hard to believe she's 75 years old and can still go toe to toe with the 20 year olds. Very on edge. The difficulty about trying to fight the aging process is that we're told that from the age of 25, the body starts to deteriorate. And one, fling, fling, or one, or two, push. I, ca I can't say that it's easy. It isn't, and it's mostly painful. There never was a cat of making that really cat. Uh, if you want to remain at all young, there are no shortcuts. Well, as you see, I've done quite well in keeping age at bay by exercising. But there's one bit of me I'm afraid I can't control at all. Look at this. The famous skin test. Slow like a tortoise. <laughs> and the effects of aging are not just superficial. These days, Gillian can only dance thanks to artificial hip joints. Regular exercise will help you live a little longer, but keeping forever young requires something more. One man who claims he does possess that extra something is Dr. Ron Livesey. He runs a private anti-aging clinic in New York. He believes his treatment program will slow down, even reverse, the aging process. He's in his mid-50s, and he's on it himself. I've noticed many benefits over the past five years. I've regained my lean body mass and lost approximately 60 pounds of abdominal fat. My immune system is clearly working much better because I no longer get frequent colds and no longer require sick days from work. My bad cholesterol is now normal. My good cholesterol has gone from being low to a quite healthy range. Diane Gilman is one of Dr. Livesey's clients. At 56, she has also decided not to give in to age. I was always the kind of person that believed you could fight Mother Nature. If you ate right, if you exercised right, if you got enough sleep, and at about 50 years old, I just hit a brick wall. Mother Nature said, uh-uh, those aren't the plans I have for you. I couldn't fight all of the things that were happening to me, many of which I didn't even understand were about aging horrible back pains, terrible pains and cramps in my legs. Diane's main weapon in the war against aging is called human growth hormone. Whilst we're going through childhood and adolescence, our bodies are churning out large amounts of growth hormone. It helps build muscle and repair tissues. At about the age of 25, levels peak, then start to drop off. By the time we reach old age, our bodies are producing very little. That's a toy. Diane is injecting herself with just enough growth hormone to push her levels back to those she had when she was 25. This requires two shots a day at a cost of over $1,000 a month. I will never forget the first day that I injected myself with human growth hormone. I felt like a watch. If you have a watch where you can see all the cogs and, and mechanisms working on the back, it was like everything was working and going in one direction, which everything came to a halt and then started to go in another direction. It really has turned back the hands of time. Diane's 